God's wonderful plan. Mother was putting winter clothes away into the big trunk. Look, Jane, she called. Can you guess who these are? Jane came running to see what Mother had found. Oh, she said, those are the tiniest little shoes I ever saw. Where did you get them, Mother? <laughs> My big schoolgirl wore these when she was a baby. Were they really mine? asked Jane. Why, Mother, I couldn't even get one of my toes into them now. You've grown up to be a big girl since you wore these tiny shoes, said Mother. But how well I remember the baby that was you. Instead of the long curls that you have on your head now, there was just a soft little fuzz on top of your head. You were so tiny that your first bed was a basket. I couldn't even talk then, could I? asked Jane. All you could do then was wave your little arms and kick your little feet and sleep and cry, answered Mother. Just think of all the things you've learned since then. You've learned to talk and to walk. You can feed yourself and dress yourself. Babies soon grow into big children. Look, here's something else I've found in the trunk. Is it a doll dress, Mother? said Jane. I believe it would just fit my big doll. <laughs> no, laughed Mother. It's not a doll's dress. I wore it myself when I was a baby. Jane's eyes were round with wonder. It seems so strange, Mother, she said, that babies can change enough to become grown-up people. Yes, said Mother. The way we grow is a wonderful thing that only God could have planned. The end. Okay, that's the story for today. And while you're sleeping, you're going to be growing too. And I hope someday you grow up to be a wonderful man or woman. And for right now, good night. And always remember that God loves you and I love you too.